And adding to Sayyid Amar's point, what Imam Hussein means, uh, as Sayyid knows, I went to a refugee camp. Now these guys had no food. They had no milk. They, they were dying for every necessity. They were freezing in the cold. They needed jackets. And we said to them, okay, what do you need? And they saw something on my son's hand. Mm. And these were shares. You know what they said? They said, what is this? And my son said, oh, didn't know how to react. Because, right. you know, you're you in a refugee this, camp. Yeah. You don't want to start a war. Yeah. My son thought, okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm helping them. He said, oh, this is something we get from Karbala. We tie on our hand. Because I go, Shia. My son said, alhamdulillah, I'm Shia. Because I don't want nothing. Bring us Imam Hussein. We haven't oh, heard for, about Imam Hussein. For three years, they've lived in a refugee camp. They could say to us, we were very generous. We had very generous people. They could say, bring us jackets, bring us this, bring us that, bring us. Said so we don't want nothing. Bring us Imam Hussein. Because they had listened. They had heard the stories, the narrations of Karbala for three years. All they wanted was that. And when it happened, the tears that flowed, the love I saw, strengthened me as a human being. People living uh, a lovely story, a guy, he could have crossed the, he had the opportunity of what he'd come there for, to come from France to England. Jumped on the back of a truck and he saw all the flags. He said, if Imam Hussain came to me, how can I leave him? SubhanAllah. He jumped off the truck and went back. Alhamdulillah, he came to London, now he's in Germany. But this is what Imam Hussain, <coughs> now, you, you give access to your children through these channels to Imam Hussain, to people who don't know Imam Hussain.